Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Tyro. We're going to do a quick discussion again about something that, again, is criminally underrated. I recently spoke about the TV series Warrior. Bloody awesome. Check that out. But now I want to talk about, talk about a book series that I read last year, 2020, and it was a bloody pleasant surprise. And a pleasant surprise... Pleasant Surprises are some of the best books I ever read and this one, the more I think about it, the more I enjoy it and I don't see a lot of people talking about it so let's talk about it right now. Today I want to talk about R.J. Barker's The Wounded Kingdom series, a series of three books with very awesome names. Uh, I'm just doing this off memory. I believe it's called The Age of Assassins, Blood of Assassins, and The King of Assassins. And to quickly, I don't want to go into too much detail or even spoilers. The book is about an uh, assassin and the assassin's apprentice. The assassin's apprentice seems to be a disabled young man and the book focuses on a country a kingdom of kings and treachery and the country is damaged and wounded and <laughs> i want to be very vague because i just want to say this was a pleasant surprise this is one of the series where i feel like every book it gets better there is good character development i like the characters i like the characterization the setting is familiar. Again, it reminds me, well, I like Raiera. I talk about Raiera every now and again. I love that series. And if we're talking about kingdoms and empires, it's very similar to the kind of dreariness of some of the darkness I've seen in Raiera without the jovialness. It's a serious story. And this character, Gurton, the main character, this warm, this trainee assassin, to see him grow through each book is really really great and it's frustrating because he starts off as a young character and by the end of the series he's a grown man and i just love all the characters and the characterization and it's just a pleasant surprise when you first start reading the book i found when you read or watch anime or tv series with young teenage characters and you see them making these dumb mistakes it's quite frustrating but they are growing and when a character grows in a believable way and the characters surrounding that character are interesting, just as interesting as the assassin in training, it's really cool. The setting with the the kingdoms and the warring nations, I think one of the things I liked about this is it's a small scope book. Even though we're in dealing with two or three kingdoms, it's a small group of characters, three different, I think there's like three different kingdoms and the stories told told over a number of years and i love the action i love the intrigue this is more about intrigue though even though this is about assassinations i love the art i love the craft of the assassination and i love the main characters gurton but his master who i can't remember the name of right now that his female master i love her story as well i love her as a master i love her as a trainer and i love her as the story develops you get to hear her story particularly in the third book and when the series ended, the very last book, it ends strong. It ends really, 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 really strong. And I love a book that starts off with a great foundation and by the end, it ends on a high note and it's very memorable. I really, the more I think about this book series, the more I love it because it's very mature. It grows with you. The characters just grow. It's believable. And it's kind of small scale as well. This was a pleasant surprise. My sister gave it to me and she just said this isn't what you expect it to be you hear a book about assassins you think action you think murder you think treachery you think game of thrones or basilisk or any other number of franchises i can throw at you it's not that it's kind of i wouldn't say cerebral but there's a lot of thinking here a lot of pondering and the characters are doing a lot of thinking i mean they're doing a lot of um there's a lot of things happening <laughs> in these kingdoms and I just appreciated the slow, kind of methodical, the slow burn of how this progresses. And I think the ending to this series is a great payoff. And it's I just think it's a 
it's a well cooked meal. This series is a very well mature cooked meal. And even though the action is not that bombastic, I just think this series won me over with the characters and its maturity. And it is very engaging and intrigue is done so well. RJ Barker's done a phenomenal job. My only disappointment is really, I think this book series deserves more credit than it's got. I went on YouTube and I'm gonna have to go across the screen to my other desk in a minute. So I was on YouTube and I was looking for, whenever I read a good book, I look on YouTube to see who else is talking about this series. There was only one video of this gentleman. I'm gonna do a quick edit here. Patrick Leo, which I'll put a picture on the screen. He did a, um, he made a list of my top 15 completed fantasy as of 2020. Not only did he recommend the series as well, which I don't blame him for, but he, in that list of books, uh, in, in his top 10 list or the list he compiled, most of the books I completely agree with. They're fantastic. So I highly recommend you check out that video for more books as well. And I've only seen about 70% of what he spoke about, which I definitely agree, agree upon. So check out that video and check out the series. Get on Audible. I think the Audible narrator is fantastic. I can't remember the narrator right now. Apologies. But all I can say it was a pleasant surprise. Very mature. And it's criminally underrated. Just like when I spoke about Warrior. So yeah, I put, I'll put i try to put the link in the description down below for the book series. Have a look, have a check. I love the name of the book. I love the name of the series, the name of the books, the characters, all of it. Yeah, check it out. The Rooney Kingdom, great series, underrated, and I really enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out Patrick Leo's video on other fantasy series you really might enjoy because he did a phenomenal list. And yeah, I, I would like to pick that guy's brain because <laughs> I love talking. I love people with good taste. That guy has got good taste. Anyway, I'll leave it at that, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And yeah, uh, if you appreciate these quick and dirty videos where I just jump in front of the camera when I finish work, let me know. Leave a comment down below. And yeah, I miss you guys, man. I really do. But don't forget to check out all the other videos and podcasts and content we do here. I'll see you on the next recording, guys. Take care. Peace out.